Hey. Hey. Hey, what's up? What's up? Are you on? I'm good. Yeah. All right. Testing, testing. One, two, three. In the place to be. Mm-hmm. Sounds as it is plain to see. I am Latif Mikado, and that's the OCG. Rocking the house on this stereo app. And I'm Angel. And welcome to Freestyle Lives on Stereo. <laughs> hmm. I guess we ain't doing that, huh? Huh? I well, guess we're not I'm, doing yeah. that. Yeah, hold on, because we're I'm 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 getting cut. I'm cutting in and out here. Yeah, okay. Maybe it's the weather. So. Hey, what's up? This is Latif. And I'm Angel, and welcome to Freestyle Lives on Stereo. A new platform where we come together to discuss various topics regarding the freestyle music scene. Where it's been. Where it's at. And most important, where it's going. If you're not already following us, please do so now so that you never miss an episode. Today's episode is Freestyle Music. Some really thought it was dead. All right. So we got that in. So how's your day so far? Uh, it's raining. I'm in my glory. I was sitting in the office and all of a sudden, that was earlier this morning, I start hearing it. I'm like, what? Like, I didn't even know it was going to rain today. You knew it was going to rain? Yes, absolutely. Okay. I checked the weather. I had no idea. I had no idea at all, but you know what? I love it. As soon as it started to come down, what do I do? I grab my coffee and I step out on the stoop. The only problem this time is it was raining so hard that the rain was actually flying sideways. Yeah. So normal, normally I could stay on the on the stoop underneath the, canop the canopy and I won't get wet and I can enjoy my rainfall. This time I couldn't because the rain was hitting me. Direct, right? But uh, uh, well, I'm cool. You know, I'm, I, I'm cool I, with the rain as I'm cool with the rain as long as I don't have to go out, and I'm also cool with the rain as long as it's not raining when the babies are on the school bus. Otherwise, let it rain all the time. I'm good. Or, or if we're traveling, I hate. I don't like to, and it's not really even being in the airplane. That doesn't always creep me out. Not always. What What I don't like is when we get to the airport, and it's pouring. And now we have to get, park the car, get out of the car with our bags, and then we gotta rush over to the little um, the little shelter to wait for the the shuttle bus. So that 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 messes with me, especially if it's a hot day and it's humid and muggy, and it's like that's the worst. No, what bothers me the most when it's raining and we're traveling is if they delay the flights, and if we have a connecting flight and we're gonna miss it. That's what bothers yeah. me the most. Rain what was that last time we got delayed? Where were we when we got delayed? Remember the last big time that we actually slept in the airport? Oh my god! What was what was that? That what was happened? horrible. Was it, was it snow? I think was it was snow? snow. And and do you remember? Uh, you lost your favorite shirt. You put it on the back of the <sighs> chair in the restaurant. Yeah, yeah. It was gone. Damn. That's crazy. But, but, man, and where we were, were we? Freezing. That was the one time I didn't bring like my extra blankets and extra warm stuff. Right, right. Oh my but God. Where, was, where, and where were we coming from? I don't, was I that California? I can't remember where we were coming from, but it, it was crazy. Yeah, I, I will remember. always and then, for that. And then, and then and we then finally the, get a plane and there's a bird. A bird hits it. <coughs> no, yeah, no, the you bird went into the, yeah, the, the bird, we were waiting to load. They, they were, we were sitting there. They sent us to a, a whole other terminal. We sat there for a couple hours. Finally, they're going to start boarding. We get up. We're excited. We're like, oh, my God, finally, we're going to get home. And we get in. We get into, uh, we get online. And next thing you know, they shut it down. And we're like, what the hell happened? And a bird had flown directly into the engine. Yep. While the plane was parked, which was crazy. So I was Crazy. like, oh, shit, you know? 
that's not they need to do something about that like that happens a lot i know, you know? that's like, what like, like you know like they need to do that like happens do something. in the air that happens man well first of all that's a big ass engine i mean you know people have been known to stand in front of those uh those engines and be sucked in oh damn and just and just be like like blended like a blender oh, shit. so i can't really i can't really see a bird really affecting i'm sure many times that we've flown a bird or two have flown into those engines i bet you i bet you it's pretty common right you know they don't tell yes. us that though right you know i would think that they have yeah i would think that they they purposely purposely keep those things open like that so that way when the bird flies in there they're immediately grinded down and then shot out through the back. Mm -hmm. You know, that's crazy. So why they why crazy. they would, you know, maybe if it's parked already and that happens, they're not gonna take a chance. They can't. They can't take right. a chance. But if it's in the air already, I can't see them stopping. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. So, but anyway, um. So freestyle music. Topic. Some really thought it was dead. Yeah. Now let me ask you something. How often do you hear that? Well, I hear, you know what I hear a lot of? You're still performing? I didn't know you were still performing. I didn't know they were still having freestyle shows. That's crazy, right? Yeah, a lot of people don't know. You know, you think with all the people that show up at these shows, you would think everybody knows. No. Yeah. A lot of people yeah. don't know. Yeah, that's crazy. That is nuts. Um, wow. Um, yeah, I get that. I get that all the time. You know, there was a time that it used to, it was kind of offensive. <laughs> it's offensive. Right. Uh -huh. You know, when people people used to diss this and man, that shit is dead, man. That shit. And I'm like, what? Now that's you know, offensive. Came... Now that's offensive. Yeah. Now if it's somebody just questioning, that's different. But somebody that says it like that, that's offensive. Yeah, you know, and, and you know, but but you know what? I I had a problem. I had a problem. Um, you know, distinguishing the difference, you know, uh, were they, were is it someone who knew and just was dissing it or did they really not know, you know, right. or were they, or were they, you know, people sometimes are too cool. They're just too cool to admit it. Oh yeah. You know, meanwhile, back in the days they were bumping this shit in their, in their freaking, in their freaking, uh, Dodge Pinto. I rock. Yeah. Yeah. Right. They didn't even have an I rock. They have freaking Pinto. <laughs> A lime <laughs> green pinto that will bump it yeah, freestyle, yeah. you know. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, but yeah, you know. So so when I get that, so a lot of times too, you know, I'm just coming off of a, or we we're just coming off of a, of a huge concert, you know, thousands of people. Like, right. like sometimes you know, sometimes we step into these arenas, you know, when we do the sound check, and you know how the arena is totally empty, okay, they're still mm -hmm. setting up, and I look around, and you see hundreds you know thousands of i was gonna say hundreds of thousands of seats no it's not hundreds of thousands of seats it's thousands of seats and i look at these arenas and it still baffles me that they that freestyle is popular is still popular enough 35 plus years later that they that the promoters could even consider the fact that they might actually pack this place right you know what I'm saying? You know, so it still it still baffles me that 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 even happens. You know, right. and yeah. and and then you think about it like this: like you see a place that packs in, even if it's a small a small number on a concert, like one of the Alan Beck concerts is like eight to ten thousand. That's a small that's a small audience. Right. Because audiences, you know, a lot bigger than that sometimes double that. You know, right. Um, mm -hmm. And you think about it, you're like, okay, you know, but, but you know, that's that's a lot of people, but you know, it's still not thirty thousand or forty thousand as some of the new school. But when you think about it, it's an old school genre. And you think about all the people that do not go to concerts, and At I our am age. Gu I'm At our guilty age. of that. Right. I'm guilty of that. I don't go to concerts. There have been people, artists that I know that we know that have come here to Charlotte to perform at the stadiums and I don't go. 
a lot of times it's something or sometimes I make an excuse. I just, I really don't want to go, you know? First of all, I've yeah. seen many of them perform. I really don't have the desire to, to be backstage. You know, you know what it is? I feel like I'm working. Hmm. I do. I feel like I'm I working. See that. I can see yeah, that. Yeah, like just, yeah. Now, when we have our shows, I'm, I get excited when I get in there. You know, there the little, <clears throat> the little work it is to, to get to get through the airports, to pack, to go through that whole that whole thing, and then to go do sound check. Yeah, and we still haven't slept, and then we know we gotta yeah. go do the show, so we can't really get there, no rest. You have to start getting ready, or the girls have to get ready. Um, then when I get there, then it's like. It's like, it, you know, the adrenaline kicks in and um, uh, and I get excited. I start to get excited right. again, you know? Right. Um, uh -huh. I remember, do you remember when we did that show in California and my cousin Mitchell came? Yeah. Okay. Remember that? We were in San Francisco, yeah. I think. That was San okay. Jose. San Jose. Right. So he it came, right? He came. Huh? It was San yeah. Jose. It okay. was yeah. San Jose. Huh? Yeah. yeah, you're coming in and out. <clears throat> it um, was San Jose. Yeah, I heard you, but you were coming in and out. Oh. Um, <laughs> uh, but you know what's so crazy, right? So when, you know, I always used to tell him, because he follows us, he knows what we do. And mm -hmm. I remember telling him, I said, next time I go, I go to the Bay Area, come on down, you know, invite you to a show, come chill out with us. I remember when he came to that show, and when remember we, he got there early we got there early we were still they were still bringing people in and when i brought him out because i wanted to go check with the sound mm -hmm. his freaking eyes lit up because he was like mm -hmm. he looked at me he, i'm watching him he's looking all around now the people are still coming in but you see right. the thousands of seats and yeah. he looks at me he goes yo he goes really he goes i didn't think it was like this he goes right. i thought you were bringing me into like he thought it was gonna be like a club situation. Right. I said, "Oh no!" I said, "No, no, this is this is what we do." I said, "This yeah. is this is how." I said, "Yeah, we do have the club situations. We do do the, we've done we do the little one hundred capacity lounges. We do the, right, the five hundred, yeah, the five hundred capacity clubs, the sure three thousand capacity amphitheaters." Um, I really the like those parties. ones. I really like the intimate but, ones. Yeah, me too. It, yeah. You know, it depends. No, no. It depends you know whose reaction? You know whose reaction was just so crazy? Was Santana's? Right. Do you remember Santana's mm. reaction? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was, that was crazy. crazy. Her little face yeah. lit up when she saw all those people. Right. And I thought she was gonna be scared to get on stage. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah. And she wasn't. She sat on that yeah. stage the whole show. Yeah, she got she got up there. Yeah, I was surprised. And I really got up honestly, the dance to sing with us. Yeah, I, I wasn't. Yeah, I wasn't sure she was gonna. I wasn't sure she was gonna do it. You yeah. know, but I I think Caroline played a big role in that too. Oh, absolutely. She adores Caroline. Yeah. yeah you yeah. know, not that she would not went with you, but I think you know since you were you know taking care of you know you were singing. Caroline had that time to go to the side and reach out and grab her hand and take her arm right. with her. You know what I mean? Right. So I think that kind of that kind of broke the ice. So that was kind of cool. You know? Yeah. But but yeah. but now now the whole thing is like, all right. So the the whole thing that people even with social media, people still believe that the genre is dead. Like I could talk to people who I haven't been in touch with, who don't really follow, even friends that don't really follow me, don't really know what I do. You know, they live a different life. We, we had a life as kids or whatever the case may be. And they really have no idea of what it is that we do and how relevant it really is and how, you know, uh, you know the, the, the picture that a lot of these people have in their head is probably, you know, us doing these little tiny clubs Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times you see p people post about chump change, you know, mm -hmm. acts making chump, not realizing that a lot of the acts, this is their 100% livelihood and they do fine. They do well. 
Um, well, not only and, that, and, they're going by they're going by hearsay. Yeah, they don't know how much anybody makes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I mean, know, they're on, going Trump, by hearsay. Yeah, even even you know, Trump, even the, the the artist that gets paid, you know, of course, you know, we never put out nobody's business. I'm an agent. I know where everybody gets paid, but even those artists who make probably the least because whatever situation it could be the records weren't that big or poor management they didn't really get the exposure even those acts a lot of times their pay is still pretty significant compared to someone who works a regular nine to five absolutely you know absolutely so, and that's, but to me, and, that's, and always, that's, that's always sour grapes that's somebody who either wish they were doing this or i yeah. just hate that somebody making a dollar yeah, yeah. So yeah, I don't yeah, think, was, and I, don't I, I definitely so yeah, I definitely spotted that. Yo, know, a lot of times when you kind of dig into the background of some of these people, um, they were either DJs trying to break in, they were producers trying to break in, they were singers or dancers trying to and it just never happened for them. You know? And those are the ones that I see I see that are are, are, sh are shooting the digs, you know? But you know, that was also the reason why we decided to bring this discussion on this particular app. Because to me, I feel that Facebook is too noisy right now. Mm -hmm. It's too it's too noisy. There's yeah, we could go on Facebook right now and really get a lot of attention, but I really wanted to kind of because I wanted a, a certain level of seriousness. And I think anybody who comes in and follows up and, and goes through all the process of setting up their app. The setting, I mean, setting up there, yeah, getting you know, downloading the app and then setting up their avatar and then coming in and subscribing to our our show. Um, I think these people are at another level of seriousness. Right. And and so I didn't want to be among the noise of and I, I say noise, I don't say it on a negative tip, meaning there's a lot of activity, you know. There's how many Facebook groups on, on Facebook? It's all over the place. So, you know, I could post something about freestyle and it goes nowhere because somebody else is posting also. And it's it's just it's just too noisy um, when it comes. So I wanted to break out and, and it was risky because we're like, okay, well, not only do we have to do a show and we have to discuss, we have to talk about this. We have to also at the same time introduce people to the app and try to get people to come on over and hoping that people also tell other people and share it, you know, so that way. Well, you know, I, like, I like the way it's building slowly. I like the way it's building slowly. That way we can get yeah. to know everybody who's coming on the app. Right, right, right. Yeah. And anybody who's uh, who's listening in, uh, please feel free to follow us. That always helps us. Um, we really appreciate that. Um, and also, if you have any questions, um, babe, tell them how to how to do the questions. What do you mean? How, how do they ask questions? Oh, all you got to do is hold down the little microphone on the bottom and you can ask us any question you want or you can make a comment or if you want to say what's up, say what's up. Just hold on that microphone. It'll give you about 30 seconds to a minute, I think. Yeah, you know, I never checked that how long it, how long it actually it might be probably like 30 seconds, oh. right? Yeah, it might be. It might. Yeah, I would say thirty seconds. I mean, who's who the hell's gonna? Right. Yeah, I can't. I, yeah, I can't see anybody leaving a one minute. Yeah, one minute, uh, message. That's the way right. they can let us know they're there and say what's up. Right. Oh, right, but, right, you know, right. you know. Yeah. So well, tell you know, us what so they... we're hoping. So we're hoping that now. Now remember, also, we're picking up other people that are already part of the stereo app, who are familiar with freestyle yet not really familiar with the situation of where where it is currently right now you notice we're, we're getting that and that was the whole point that's what that's what i want you know bring it to a platform want, yeah right right you know and i know there's a lot Our of new younger friends. people a lot yes. of the younger people who you know and and there's a you know when, when we when we're done with the show usually we have several people that we don't know who they are mm-hmm these people didn't necessarily follow us, but they came in and they listened in. And it could be because of what we titled it. We titled it like this one, Freestyle Music Is It Dead? And you know, a lot of times the rappers 
will confuse it with freestyle hip hop, you know, freestyle rap. You know, this right. is our, our opportunity to clarify that, you know, mm -hmm. um, and also let people know, especially, you know, anybody who's following anything music, there's a good chance that they're involved somehow, whether they're, you know, they're producers or writers or singers or rappers themselves, you know. Um, and this is, and, and we're hoping that we can find people that people can, or people can find us and say, yo, this is kind of interesting. I like to learn more about this music. Like, where can I find it? You know, how can I, I, you know, how can I find that? And, you know, anybody who has that kind of interest, you know, they can feel free to you know, ask whatever questions uh, regarding that. We can let you know where to look and, um, you know, you know, social where where you could go with social media just to kind of get more information on YouTube and so on. You get more information on the genre because it might be something that they discovered that they never realized before. And they might say, "Wow, <clears throat> this shit, this shit is kind of dope, man. This this music's right. kind of dope." You know, I, I could, you know, and maybe I could do something, you know, and that right. it's a wide open. There's a wide, you know, that's one thing is there are a lot of ears. So if somebody comes in and they got some good stuff and. They have a good look and they re they're really aggressive and they have the patience to go the distance because this can really be a great platform for them this could be a great opportunity mm -hmm. you know Absolutely. you know to be to be able to get on stage some of the biggest stages in the country big house of blues the freaking uh the honda center in california uh madison square garden radio city music hall freaking foxwoods i mean you know, uh, all the big Miami, the Miami arenas. Uh, yeah. I mean, the, these, these are big to be able to do. And in a short period of time, really, if they really, really get on their craft to be able to go and in no time, really share stages with some of the biggest names in freestyle. That's, that's unheard of. That's unheard that's of. In what another, it is. Yeah. In another genre. I don't know any other genre that will that would allow that, 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 that could happen, you mm -hmm. know, but, uh, but yeah. So what do you think? I mean, I mean, what, I how mean, else can we, how else can we let people know? First that, of all, you know, we gotta, we gotta get rid of the stigma. Like you said, right. It's dead. It's over. It's a bunch of bums. Don't make any money. I don't know why they're doing it. We gotta get rid of all of the stigmas first. Mm. And what do you, you understand I mean, what I'm saying? And what about dealing with the other social platforms like we're doing now? What do you I think, think Could I? I, th I think I think that um what we're doing by bringing them to this this platform is a new platform where right. it isn't jaded yet. Facebook, it's still, it's kind of jaded in Facebook already. What do you mean? It's a new platform. Excuse me? No, what do you mean by Facebook being jaded? What do you mean by that? You got a lot of unhappy people on, on Facebook. Okay. Here is brand new people that can learn about the genre and decide on whether they want to be a part of it or not without getting yeah. jaded by the people, you know, that are unhappy about yeah. the situation. You right. have the artists right. that don't get shows and they're unhappy. <clears throat> you know? Yeah. Yeah. So they'd rather destroy, try and destroy freestyle because they they're not getting any shows. And it's so crazy they're that you say that because excuse me. Yeah, I say it's crazy that you say that because I do. I have noticed that, and I've hope I've noticed that with old producers mm -hmm. or producers that are trying to go into other areas, like they might be trying to break into hip hop, or and next thing you know, um, um. I remember one artist. I won't. I won't. I won't mention his name because uh, we cool. Uh, and that's and the point isn't that it was him. But I remember one time um, he was trying to do something different. He was mm -hmm. trying to go, you know, go a little bit more hip hop. And I remember running into him in Florida and in the hotel lobby. And I was like, "Hey, man. So what's up, man?" I said, "What's up with the freestyle?" I said, "No more. I mean, you're, you're still gonna put out." He goes, I would never do, I would never, I would never do that corny shit again. Mm. And this is someone that had a lot of success with freestyle. Right. You know, um, you know, as time went on, I think he caught on and 
you know, he went back to it, and it was a good thing because uh, very talented and and very a very important figure in the genre, you know. But you know that that always stuck with me. That always stuck with me, and that's just from an artist. I've seen that and heard that from so many people in the past, you know, from so many people in the past that have gone. They're going to salsa, and you've probably seen that with some of the people who transferred over to salsa. Like they want nothing to do with it. Like right. once it, it was almost like it's almost like you know, freestyle was like this prison that people are stuck in, and they can't yeah. wait to break out. And when they break out and they go into another area and they they see success in that other area, they won't even acknowledge this shit. Right. And I don't know. I don't know. Never, it's don't never got the acknowledgement that it should. You know, you have the Alamo Awards, you have all of these awards with Latinos, and you have never seen them acknowledge freestyle music. Yeah. And it's crazy, because I mean, we were on the yeah. Billboard the charts. I know. I know. Yeah. And, and you know, a lot of that, you know, we have to blame on a lot of those so-called leaders from back then. Absolutely. The so-called, the so-called grown-ups who... Who, they basically who, artists down so they could control them. Yeah, artists couldn't get well, too big because then they wouldn't be able to control them. Yeah, I think it was a, I think it was a combination of you know yeah wanting to and not know, yeah you know what it's a combination greed. of that and stuff. they really didn't know what the hell they were doing. Yeah, also I really don't think that a lot of these uh these so called leaders even had that much confidence. Like in their mind, I believe I think that they felt that. These artists are good. They they like each other, but I don't think they can go mainstream. I don't think they can go outside. No, no, that, that couldn't be it because no, 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 because we did go mainstream. We were on Billboard I, 100 charts. No, we did go mainstream. Once we went mainstream, they got scared. They mm, said, "Man, okay. we're gonna lose control of this situation." Yeah. They get big, we're gonna lose control of this situation. We're gonna lose control of these artists. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. You know, I've spoken to so many of like the 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 talent. So much of the talent. I'm talking about some of the behind the scene producers that I'm cool with or was cool with at some point. Um, mm -hmm. that were more closer to my age. Yeah. And I've talked, as a matter of fact, I spoke to one not too long ago and I told them, I said, you know, and I I, I threw it out on, on them. I said, You guys are the new leaders, man. Mm -hmm. I said, it's time that you guys take control of this shit. It's time that you guys stop following, you know, the bullshit that's been going on, you know, mm -hmm. because it's not, it's not helping. You guys are smart enough and have enough, enough experience to be able to lead this and, th and make the decisions yourself as to what's wrong and what's right. So that way we can show some longevity into this, into this market, because if not, yeah, freestyle will be dead. But I think, I think, think, I think you think you're speaking to a wall. But I don't think so. I think it's getting to them. I think it's getting into their head. What I you're think saying. so. I think so. I think, when I think I talk right to now. Them. I think right now they're just trying to figure out how to execute it. Yeah. Or or when or when to execute it. What they yeah. want to do, you know. So yeah. I think yeah, there's going to be some changes. I think, I think once this COVID is over, this pandemic is over, there's going to be yeah. some changes. There's going to be a so. lot of these artists standing up for themselves. They have to. Yeah. They have to. You know, I get a lot of them that call me on on the down low. Right. You know, because they don't want certain people to know about it. And you know me, you know, you know how I am. I take shit to the grave. Right. Absolutely. Even if I don't like if I even as if I don't should. like you. As you should. Yeah, even if I don't like you, even if we have a fallout, I never throw That's I'll, right. I'll never throw your business out. I'll never throw your exactly. business don't out. Exactly. Do, was... you, you don't do mad day. You don't do mad day. Yeah. I'm mad at you. Yeah, I don't I don't yeah. And at the, right. but at the same time, I don't trust many, so I don't put shit out like that. I talk to you, you about can't. it. You can't. Well, there's a lot. Yeah, I won't because, yeah, like you said, they have mad day. Next thing you know, my business is out there. Even though, I mean, I, it's just not listen, my thing. I say a lot because you know why? I stand by what the hell I say. So right. if you want right. to go and tell everybody what I said, go and tell them. Because I absolutely stand by what I say. Yeah. You know, and I say it for a reason. And I'll say it right now on this platform. I'll say it on any but a platform. Lot, but a lot of them, you know, what I'm saying is that they, you know, they're coming to me 
and they're agreeing with a lot of us. Like they they watch the blogs, they they see the posts, they and it's like they come to me and they give me all this under the table props. It's like they tap me on the shoulder and, sit, and then point down under the table, and then I have to go under the table and kind of have a little conference with them. And they're like, "Yo, lie, I just want to let you know, man. You know, I know I don't say much and I don't post, but." Man, I'm down with you, man. I, I agree with you 1,000%. And I hope this and this. And I hope, but you know, I can't really say anything because of, you know, my livelihood. And and mm -hmm. I'm like, I understand. Mm -hmm. Even though what I try but to you tell know what? them. But you know what? what? I hope and pray that they wake up and they realize I did it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But that's hard. Did, didn't, see, I supposed, look, didn't I well, suppose they, to have the biggest and the baddest stopping yeah. my career? Yeah, yeah. Um, am I I'm, still what, here? Am I still performing? Do I do as well or better than a lot of these artists? Yeah. When it comes to what I'm getting paid and how many shows I do and where I have my shows and the respect that I get. Sometimes you have to take that chance. You know? You got to take yeah, that but chance. You know, but you got to realize what they're doing, what they're, what they're thinking about is they don't have... Like you're talking about your relationship with me. They feel that that's a different thing. Even though many of them, I've told them, I said, listen, you really, the power, the power is in their hands. Absolutely. This is what I don't get. Right. You know, like I can't. They, they're the I commodity and they don't realize. Yeah. It, I can't, I can't, um, I can't do magic. I can't, I can help promote and push and book a good artist. Mm -hmm. I can't really do it with a bad artist. And if I do no, no, do that's it not with what I'm a bad... talking about. I, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about these artists that have incredible songs. Okay? They're awesome performers. And they're so stuck and scared that they allow these so-called leaders to run them. Right. Why? Right. Who the hell's they? Yeah. Well, that's what, no, that's exactly what I'm, that's where I'm getting at. I'm saying, I'm giving, I'm using me as an example. I'm saying I can only do as, as good as, I can only do as much as where the artist is. If it's a good artist, then I could do what I do. If I, you or, know what I'm saying? So the, or you so can only do as much, in, you can only do as much as, much as they stand up for them, their, themselves. You can't stand yeah. up for them and they're backtracking. You understand? Yeah. If they backtrack and they're not willing to stand there and be strong in their situation, in their truth, then you can't do it for them. Yeah. Hold on. Let's, we got a message. Hey, Latif and Angel. What's up? Hope you guys are having a good day. What I would like to see is a Freestyle Hall of Fame. Although back in 2008, you guys had what was called the Freestyle Music Awards. I don't know if that's the same, but I would love to see some like Hall of Fame for you legends. And by the way, Latif... I got some hospital pee for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Tommy was listening to last night's podcast. That's where that came from. <laughs> mm -hmm. But anyway, um, yeah, 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 Tommy, yeah. 2008, we did the Freestyle Music Awards in Miami. Huge success. It was a great freaking event. And uh, un unfortunately, jealousy and all this stuff kind of came into play and kind of kind of destroyed the dream a little bit but it was okay i did it been there done that i'm good yeah a hall of fame is wonderful and we could get there we could get there i couldn't do it by myself but we but it's a great idea and it's been it's been brought up um it just we need to get everybody on the same page and i'm right just hoping I, these artists these artists are able to come together before it's all over you know what i'm saying yeah. we're all getting older yeah yeah. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> yeah, you no, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. You know, but the thing is is like they need to come onto platforms like this so they can so we can discuss because everything can come into a, can turn into a rant. It's very easy. It's very mm -hmm. easy to listen to these artists or even us, you know, talk and next thing you know, we the, a sense of anger comes out and right. bitterness and and also, it gets ugly. It's blaming this and blaming that. And sometimes, sometimes yeah. the blame, when we really, really dig, dig deep down, the blame still begins with us. Absolutely. Even, Look, even I, the situation. I, I, hope, I hope that people don't think 
that I'm ranting and raving and, and I'm against these artists. No, I'm absolutely not. I'm trying to motivate them because I remember being them. I remember right. being afraid to step mm -hmm. out of my nine dots. Yeah. I remember being afraid. What's going to happen? Are they going to stop me from performing? Am I never going to be able to perform again? You know, are they going to yeah. erase me from, from, from yeah. memory, you know? Yeah. So yeah. I know the feeling I've been there, you know, as someone yeah. who's been there and decided to yeah. stand up for myself. I, I, I know that it can be done. That's the only reason I try and, and encourage these other artists to stand up for yeah. themselves. You know, and, 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 you know, I think sometimes, you know, it gets to a point too, where they don't, they don't know who to trust. And I've Absolutely. experienced I agree. that. I agree. I've experienced that so many times. Listen, you know me as a, as an agent. How many times has I have I gone out on a limb to help artists, all right, to help artists out with no strings attached? And you know what? They would look at me as though, like, okay, so what's in it for you? Right. And I understand, like, I didn't get angry. It just made me scratch my head. I was like, wow, you know, they're scarred that bad that they cannot even... Was it fandom, fandom, fandom? Yeah. The idea that someone fathom, fathom, yeah, fathom, <laughs> fathom the idea that someone is actually trying to help them out, right? You know, that's yeah, and I can understand that. Like, why? Like, I, I don't know. Maybe if I was in their in their shoes, I would think the same way. I would think the same way. I would, I would be like, you know, what? Well, well, so, what's in it for you? Listen, <laughs> you, know, you know me. You know me, I'm going to trust you before I don't trust you. And then when you give me a yeah. reason not to trust you, I'm going to step away. Yeah. Please don't get angry at me when I step away because I gave you chances. You know what I'm saying? I'm one of those people. Yeah. I'm going to trust you yeah, before I just, I you know, I just, I just look at it. I just look at it. And you remember, I, I came into this whole business mm. wanting to be an artist. Wanting to be an artist. That was <laughs> always my goal. That was, that was my dream, to be an artist. So I have right. that, I have that little, I have that little thing about me that I can, I can empathize with artists and I can say, wow, you know, I understand your dream. Mm -hmm. I understand, I understand the dream. I understand. I didn't come in here because someone offered me some money and now I saw an opportunity. No, I came into this business because I had a passion to be an artist as well. But then I realized, and you know, I had that little time off over at Club Fed where you know, when I came out, I realized, okay, you know what? I learned so much while I was in here that I think I would be better, a better uh, asset, more of an asset to the community, to the genre behind the scenes than I would be behind the mic. Right. And that's why I took that role. Did I have the, did I still have? Yeah, it was hard. It was hard to break away from that. And this is why I'm the way I am with so many of the artists. And, and, you know, I have individual relationships with so many of these artists and I've spoken to them at these levels. And there's always that one thing that they say that I'm like, wow, they just don't like it doesn't matter. Like they, they you know, it's you know, they really went through it, you mm -hmm. know, and, and I, I understand. I could see an artist is going online right now, going on YouTube and seeing a brand new artist that they probably didn't even hear of. That's just freaking killing it. And I could I could see envy, I could see jealousy. Not on an, it just, it happens, man. Mm -hmm. It happens, it's like, why, man, you know, that was my dream. Why is that person living the way that, the way I should have been living? Right. You know, and so I can, right. I can understand that, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and you know, and, and, now, when we come out of this pandemic, you know, we, I don't know, like what I, I like my, if I had to, my opinion, my guess would be that the market's going to pick up as usual. I don't think it's going to get any bigger or any less than before. I think it's going to pick up. It's going to be basically the same, same ride. It's always been for whatever the next five, 10 years, same ride. I don't know. I don't know. I think people are going to come back a lot smarter, a lot wiser, and ready to people, do battle for themselves. Who are you a talking about? You talking about artists, the promoters, artists. what? The artists. I think the, I think the artists. I think the artists are going to say, you know what? I kept thinking that they were Superman, 
and they could get me through anything, but they really can't. But, but, the, but the thing is, anything. yeah, the thing is that they had to figure that out now. They can't wait till right. they come out to figure that out. Like well, that has well to that's what I'm saying. They're figuring it out now. I feel like artists, are, but listen, by the conversations I've heard you having, by the conversations I've had with other artists, yeah. you know, listen, I don't, I don't tell everybody all the artists that's, that call me and want to speak yeah. to me about situations and, and, and want to cry on my shoulder, yeah. you know, because I don't want to put them on blast. They're not ready to say how they feel about situations. They're not ready to say how they feel about the so-called leaders. Right. right. But I, when I speak to them, I see that they're very close. They're very close to saying, you know what? I'm not a child anymore. I'm not going to let you run me anymore. Yeah. You know, and, and realize that they are an entity. They are a business themselves. Yeah. And what yeah. you're doing, putting your business in somebody else's hands when you can run your business by yourself. Yeah. And I, but I can understand. OK, so and I can under, see you got to realize this. That's not for everybody either. Not everybody can do that. Should everybody do it? Probably. But not if they can't. Some people mm -hmm. cannot. Some people, it's all about the art. It's all, of, you know, back in the days when they had, you know, songwriters, songwriters didn't want to do business. All they wanted to do was write. And because that's where their strength was, writing. Sit down and knock out 10, 10 songs a day. That's where the money was. So they got a partner. You know what that partner was called? A publisher. The publisher's job was to sell, to do all the business, to take that one song that they wrote and make it make as much money as it possibly can for as long as it possibly can. But the split there was 50-50. So I can understand the same thing with artists. Some artists have to have a manager. They don't but a manager it. is not different. That, it's not a manager is different. A manager is what? different. A agent? A than agent? having somebody who runs your whole world. Well, you got to You understand? You know, you if you don't be... kiss their ass, you're not going to be right. on shows. Right, right. That's, That's where a they totally need to... different listen, ball listen. game. I've, I've offered than what you're talking many about. artists. I've I'm sorry offered... that I'm talking so loud, but I got a few phone calls and now you're very low and I'm trying to um, trying to get you louder and I can't. So I have to hold the okay. phone up to hear you. All right. Well, listen, um, I've told many artists in the past... I've told many artists, I said, listen, feel free to call me. I don't claim to know it all, but you might mm -hmm. ask me a question that I might actually have an answer to. Give me a call before you make this kind of move. No strings attached. I don't want anything. I don't, you know what I'm saying? There's, you know, I'm willing to help. I'm not looking mm -hmm. for gratitude. I'm not looking for you to shout me out. I'm not looking for that. But I, I, I am willing to help you or advise you if I can. If I have the end, I don't claim to know it all, but there might be something that they're overlooking, you know? Right. But, you know, I, I but, encourage you know, artists to have managers. I encourage yeah. them to have booking See, agents. See, it's hard. Listen, I'm you talking about promoters... the people that that are booking the shows, I mean, that, that are promoting the shows. Right. They seem to have all of the power. Yeah, because they're given that power. They're right. giving that power. So, and, they, and, they, and, and, and in a way, they rightly deserve the power. Like, like it is. It's almost like, okay. But what, hey. about the ones, what about the ones that abuse the power? Yeah, but that goes anywhere. That goes with your boss. That goes with the landlord. That goes with the freaking government. I mean, there's bullies everywhere. You know what I mean? That they abuse. There's policemen that abuse their power. You know, that's just the people. That's just people in general. That's just ugly people in general. You, you know, know, I look at certain that, promoters. I'm sorry. A lot of them do not, uh, to, to me, do not abuse their power. I look at Bobby D. To me, Bobby D does not abuse his power. You know, I've seen right. him treat the smallest artist as, as wonderful as he treats the biggest artist. Right, right. And yep. I've, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. No, I, I, I totally agree. I feel the same way with Alan Beck. I think, you know, they're gracious people, but they're also businessmen. So though, see, and businessmen can be nice to everyone around everyone. But when they close that door and they sit at their desk, that name could get a big red mark right through it. Well, I'm Nothing, cool with they, that. I'm cool with that. Job is, I'm cool with yeah, that, though. 
Yeah, their job is uh their job is to uh is to make is to make money. You know? Right. Right. You know, but but you know, until until these artists like and it, man, it's like it's hard to see it ever happening. You know, I think it's gonna happen, it's gonna still be slow. Um, I mean, I look at what some of the acts are doing. I mean, listen, I root for them all. Everyone Absolutely. who's out there doing the pot last night I, I finally got a chance to chime in to tony and uh, Marty's uh thing i was doing something so it was perfect i didn't have to be on my computer so and i'm always writing so you know me i can't listen to people talk if i'm writing something so uh, but i was actually doing something else that didn't require me to be writing and i was listening in and i liked it i enjoyed i saw where they were going with it you know i've mm -hmm. listened to george's i've listened to judy's like you know, I mean, you know, it, I, I'm I'm cool with that. I think I think it's great, and I think more people need to do stuff like that. Like we need to, we need to branch out. It's I agree. we need to make listen hip hop. You know how many hip hop podcasts there are? Yeah. Holy smoke! Like this is what I want people to realize. If like if we got this podcast here, and we have another one. They have the nighttime one. That's still not enough. People don't want right. to listen to Latif and Angel all freaking day. Though we would like them to, but they don't want to. That's the way I feel. Yeah. Exactly the way I feel about artists and and girl huh. groups and everything. I yeah. feel we need more than one, more than two, more than three. Yeah, yeah. To so, make you know, it I, I'm, right. Uh -huh. Yeah, and and I'm. And, and you know what's I'm so encouraged. funny? I tuned in last night too. As soon as I got the kids to sleep, I tuned in. I got on. I said, "What's up?" Two, I listened. Two. I listened for maybe. I listened for maybe fifteen minutes, and then Santana woke up. I had to turn it off again, and I had to go and yeah. uh, take care of her. So I listened to about, about 15 minutes last night. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, and I've listened in on a, on a few of them, if I could catch them. I, I know I don't right. really right. it's hard for me to catch the notification, but I've I've tuned into a few of them, and I was like, okay, yo, these these are, I see where they're going, you know? Right. Especially right. The, the positive ones. Okay, listen, once in a while, we got to have the bullshit ones. We have to have the ranty ones. We we have to have those wannabe, try to be shock jocks. Okay, cool. Throw them in the mix. Throw it in the mix. Listen, mm -hmm. I'm not against any kind of art. Do this right. shit, man. You want to make some freestyle, make some freestyle socks? Make some freestyle socks. <laughs> freestyle it, socks. It, you know yeah, I love socks. You know, hey, anybody want to make freestyle socks? I'll buy them because I love socks. <laughs> <laughs> I just get a pair of mine and write freestyle on them. You can have them. Yeah, right. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, you know, um, you know that's. Well, what you I'm know, saying. listen, you know, listen. I'm a huge Marty. Is... You know what I'm saying? I'm a huge Marty fan. Everybody knows that. Yeah, but listen, you know, I'm, so I get yeah, to see her Marty... offline, so I'm blessed in that sense. And she knows. She knows I support her. She knows that I can't listen in because I'm. I have the kids at that time. I'm trying to get them in bed. I'm trying to get them ready for school on Monday. So she understands that. And I tell her, listen, I catch up later on. I, I go back and I listen to them. You know, when she's not live, I go back and I listen. I tell her, encourage people that can't be there to, to, to go back and listen. Yeah. Right? Yeah, you know, I mean, listen, yeah, all, listen, all the arts, people putting out merchandise. This, you know, this all contributes to what we're trying to, with this topic. You know, people think freestyle is dead but you know what if we have enough of this stuff going on out there people will not think this mm -hmm. people will not think this we have to be out there and we have to be all over the place sometimes i feel like when i'm i post a lot of stuff right. you know and i don't just post i try to you know i try to put a little value in i try to write a little bit i try to get a little creative mm -hmm, um yeah. i'm not concerned my thing is all about you know I, I like to i just like to have stuff out there and i think yeah. it's important and i encourage other people to do not that I do anything great, but I, you know, I, I, I encourage people to pretty much, you know, do more or less what I'm doing, maybe at a better scale or whatever, because this helps us. Do you remember when I used to put out Freestyle Blast? Remember that? Yeah. Remember Freestyle Blast. That yeah. was, you know, that was huge. That went out for like what ten years or so, maybe more. <laughs> yep. Right. And remember, yeah. I used to, I used to promote all the artists. Now these are non. Unex non-exclusive these were not my personal artists these were non-exclusive artists that mm -hmm. i was putting on this long colorful roster where i wrote a little bio like it was really like this thing took me a long time to build and then i constantly updated it and made it look better i put graphics and moving images and then 
And then I would put link back so they can watch, people can watch their videos. And then from there, all people had to do was, if they want to reach out to them, is, is contact them. However, I did have a booking link. So if you were interested and you wanted to book them, you could click the link. It comes to me and I'll book them for you. But I would, I would, you know how many times I would put a, a, a special post out for a particular artist because he put a new record out, he did this and that. And I would put a specific, uh, you know, a, 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 a specified blast together just for that artist. Next thing you know, I know who's on my mailing list. I've seen these artists get booked all over the place. It's not going through me, but you see, I'm aware of this. Did it bother me? Of course. But mm-hmm. I pushed I pushed it to the side. Like I didn't want it to bother me because if I knew it was gonna bother, if it's gonna bother me, then I shouldn't have been blasting those artists anyway. I did right. it because I kept, and the way I fixed that in my head is I said, okay, I'm not doing it for the artist, I'm doing it for the genre. Right. I'm absolutely. pushing it. And and that mailing list was extensive back then. My mail that mailing list was like 86,000 people. Right. It was huge. You know, of course, as time went on, people lost emails and I didn't update it. I didn't update it. And it really wasn't that much happening. So it was almost like the people would get, and I think I was blasting a little bit too much. Like there was a lot of stuff I wasn't doing right that I learned how to do yeah. it now, you know, but, um, you know, uh, well, but, sometimes yeah, you I just got to throw yourself out there and then you learn as that. you go. You learn right, as you go along. I did that for the artist. I did that for the genre to try to, and everybody, Everybody knew about that blast. Everybody knew about that blast. Right. You know? And and I thought it I thought it was and I still try to do that. You know, I don't yeah. really go and push the artists as far as individually like that anymore because it's very time consuming. Mm-hmm. And it just doesn't weigh out. I have too many too many platforms now, so I, I'm all over the place. So I can't, you know, of course, you know, cover girls or you or Susie, that's different. My those are my artists. But um, but yeah. Uh, but those are the things that need to be done to keep it in people's head that the genre is not dead. People might say, well, so what, so what people think it's dead? Well, uh, why should they? <laughs> Especially if they're familiar with it. I can understand someone who's never heard of it, don't know the artist, don't know the song. Okay, cool. To them, it's dead. They don't know nothing about it. But people who at one point were fans. A lot, there's a lot of people who love freestyle and do not know that shows are going on. Right. Those are the people I'm concerned about. The artists are still out and performing. Right. Right. And those are the ones we have to let know. Yeah. Those are the ones we have to pull in. And and these are the ones that, if we do it right, these are the ones that will be new attendees to some of these shows. Any of those people trying to sell merchandise, these would be, be those people. Anyone who's trying to build their followership on, on, on social media, these are the people you need to let them know you know, and just to have a good vibe and to have a good name out there and for people to talk good about the genre, you know, right. and, and, you know, th- you know, there's going to come a time, you know, when we, listen, we're all headed up that hill, man. Some of us are already on the top <laughs> looking yeah. down. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm really, really, I, I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm terrified of regret. That's one of my biggest fears is regret. I'm, I'm, I, 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 I fear yeah, I get, I'm scared of, re, you know, looking back and regretting shit. You know what I mean? And one of the things I don't want to regret is anything that I'm doing now, like for the genre. And it, people say, well, you put too much time. I've had people tell me, you put too much into that. Why, why would you do that? I don't know. There's people that put time into a hobby. They don't make money on that. And, right. you know, it's just something that they have a passion for. You know, right. I have a passion for the genre as a culture and for the people. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily yeah. the songs. I, I'm not gonna. Songs are subjective. They're like you know, we like some, we don't like others. It depends. Doesn't mean I don't like freestyle because I don't like your freaking album. No, maybe right. your album just it, it might not suck. Maybe to me it sucks, or it's just not my taste. But someone else it's loves just not it. Your taste. That's, it's just it could be the greatest album in the world. It's just not your right. taste. Right, right. There's a lot of freaking you know million seller albums out there that I will never buy. Yeah, you know? yep. <laughs> I know that's just right. Like, just, yeah, just like art, just like clothing, just like hairstyles. I would never wear that yeah. hairstyle. Yeah, but this is what's yeah, in right now. Yeah, everybody. I love it. Yeah, yeah. You know? But you so, know, I definitely, I definitely know that about you. You know, you're all in. You're all in with what you do. And yeah. you'll see a project. You'll see a project from the beginning to the end. And you won't let up. Yeah. 
Yeah. So I do know yeah, that and, about you. But I also know about you. Um, sometimes I feel like you might be a little bit, um, what's the word? Uh, I want to say this right. You might, your, your shyness might take over in some situations. Yeah. So it kind of hinders you and you won't move forward with some things. But in those situations, you know I push, I push you because I know once you get started, you'll yeah. break out of that shyness. Yeah. I don't know if it's even shyness. I think when I was young, I think shyness was there. I think I sometimes over observe and I think that's not good. I think right. I over observe a situation. Like if I step into a situation or into a room, I take a little longer to read a room. I want to know what's going on before I make any moves or I open my mouth. You know what I mean? That's how I avoid for how many, how many years you've been with me. I, I never get confrontations on, on the, on the road because mm -hmm. I'm very careful. You know, I know who to talk to. I know, I know where, where to stand. I know what my position, you know, when people step and open their mouth, not realizing who the hell they're talking to. Right. You a know, lot. a lot, <laughs> you know, that happens a lot. I don't want to be yes. that person. So, so some me neither. Like that, like, Listen, I'm, I'm not that chick that's gonna get into an argument with some dude, so you have to fight them. I'm not that chick that's gonna come and and rah rah and scream in people's faces, because those are the chicks that do things like that, that do it to the wrong chick and get the shit smacked out of them. Yeah. You never know who you're speaking to. You know, you yeah. might be that crazy dude that'll just punch you right in your face. So by yeah. the time your man gets there, you already got punched in your face. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Remember, these are people in clubs. They're drinking. Some of them getting high. You know? You don't know what you're dealing with in those situations. But it's also with the artists. It's like, I'm, I'm not even talking about, like, fans. I'm talking about, like, artists. Sometimes I have to, you know, there's situations or maybe there's opportunities. And there's opportunities that I know could benefit certain people. And I can't just approach them with the opportunity. So I have a few ideas and I've, you know, I don't like to speak about them, but I've shared with you where I want to get a handful of artists involved, but I can't approach them yet because I have to read the room a little longer. I have to see where the head is because this is what happens. If the opportunity that I'm presenting to them is rejected, you know what happens? I just let that cat out the bag. And now anybody else I approach, those people, if they're hating on it, could end up throwing a wrench in there. You know what I mean? So it messes up the whole deal, which is why I don't talk on it. I don't speak yeah, but you on know it. What? You know what? That's, it seems like I take, that seems to be where I kind of pull back a little bit. It's a reason for that. It's a reason most for that, people, you know? Most of those people, like what you just said, that try and fuck up a situation, that's their nature. So the other artists know that they're like that. Because believe me, if they did it to you, they did it to everybody else. So they know what type of person that is. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, is, is sometimes, sometimes, I believe, I, I believe, especially with the artists, especially, especially with the artists, I think a lot of the op artists, if presented the right way, and trust me, it's not to really, it's to benefit us all, the genre, the fans, but there are situations, there are, there are opportunities that I'm aware of and that um, that I could present to them that can really, but the time has to be right. I can read them and I, listen, once in a while I could get an artist who I don't talk to for a while, they see me, hey, what's up, what's up, what's up. Then I have the same artist call me a month later at seven o'clock in the morning. Hey, what's up, man, what you doing? Oh, I'm sitting here, I'm, on the, I'm drinking my coffee. Oh yeah, me too, man, I forgot. Hey, I wanna cut up with you a little bit, all right. Cool. Let's talk. You know what I mean? And, and their moods just kind of, it's an artist thing. It's an artist thing. I know what, see, I'm, I'm, I empathize with what they're going through right now as an artist. I can understand it. So I, I do handle it with, with kick gloves. I don't take too much personal when it comes to the artist. You know, I, I really wish that I was in that position that they were open with me. Like they are with some other people and that's cool. Um, because I, feel I don't that know. I, I find a... them to be. I find them to be pretty open with you. A lot of these artists. You know what? You know what? I find them to be they, pretty open with you. They are, but they're still. There's still a little holdback. I think they they're just realize... scared to take chances. I don't think that has yeah. anything to do with you. I think it has to do but, with them. But what it is is that they're. You know what it is is that I do have them 
in the best of my interest. Like sometimes the opportunities I have don't even involve me. Like I'm not even attached. Like I can give them this and they can run with it and I don't want anything. And only because I think it could, it could benefit the genre as a whole. And, and, and if sometimes it feels like it'll be just thrown back at me. So I'm like, so I get a little hesitant. And I think that's you just going to be, be intense. You shouldn't be. I think you that, shouldn't let what one person do, does. No, it's not one. Stop you. No, it's, no, it's not one. I don't care if it's, it's I don't care if it's a hundred. You can't let what those hundred people do to you stop you from helping the next No, 100. no, no, no. I still help. But what I'm trying to say, certain, certain, not everything. There's well, certain you shouldn't things. be hesitant. You shouldn't be hesitant well, because have, that's your nature. No, your nature, your nature is to help people. Well, yeah, yeah, but this is the deal. What I'm saying is if I'm not attached to it, that means somebody else is. And that person has to be protected. You understand? I can't go and let a cat out of bag and screw somebody else because I think this person will be a good fit and that thing just falls. I have to be careful. It's a, Listen, it's very delicate. And it, it's, you know, every individual is, I have to deal with differently. Let me check these messages real quick. Okay. Just wanted to let y'all know that I'm loving this conversation. It's very educational and it's very beautiful that you guys are being so vulnerable over here and expressing yourselves the way that y'all do. Um, I love the I love the comment that um, Latif Mercado say said about um, artists. You know, it's so true. Some artists don't like you know don't aren't good at the whole business side. All they want to do is is to do the music. You know, even though if you want to make money in this industry, you need to know the business. But um, I'm, I'm the same way in that sense. I hate the competitiveness of it all. I think everyone is beautiful and unique. And, and I love what the universe gave us, you know, to share our gifts. We're yeah. all so unique and we have to all have a different story and we all have a different way of expressing that. Um, so the business aspect, I hate. Um, but yeah, this is, again, educational. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. So, yeah. yeah, thank you, Frankie. I appreciate it. From your lips to God's ears, Frankie, yeah, I'm telling you, you, you yeah, just summed Latif. it all Latif. up. He just summed it all up. Didn't yeah, you just get yeah. that? He summed up yeah. everything we are trying he to did. say. So we know that somebody is listening to what we're yeah. saying. Yeah. We appreciate you know? We appreciate you coming. I you appreciate coming on. you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You please know, we try to, we try to listen in. Please continue to join us. And share with other people that, you know, you feel that might might benefit. And we're here to answer whatever questions that we think we can. We appreciate Absolutely. you. Let me see who else is on here. Lots of Mikalo. Are you a Virgo by any chance? Your zodiac sign? Just because dude, I'm very curious because I'm the same way. I'm very analytical. I always study everyone and everything around me before I show my true self, my true light. That's something, a quality that we do, that we have. We might come off, we might come across at first very shy, but it's not being shy. It's just, we're being just reserved because we're studying people's personalities and the energy around us so like that we could you know move on uh, mm. correctly it's so wow. sort of like we're uh we're chameleons you know we evolve depending on our situations and our environment that's yeah that's crazy no actually i'm i'm actually i'm a scorpio october 25th um but no but i, I got something funny i got something I was, funny for frankie i got something but funny but i was for frankie. raised hold up hold up no, no, i, no, I want to say one thing real quick scorpio. one thing that you can say what you have to say Frankie, my father was a Virgo and Latif has so many personality traits that my father had. So I get exactly what you're saying. Okay, go ahead, Latif. <laughs> no, I was saying I was raised by a Virgo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> my mom. <laughs> my mom. <laughs> but yeah, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, I appreciate that. But, uh, but listen, um, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna shut down, guys. It's uh, uh, we've been on for a while. We really appreciate everyone coming on. It's a bunch of you been coming on and off and coming on and off. Please come on when you do come on. Please follow us. And when we put the new shows up, please subscribe to the show. So that way, when we start, uh, you guys get a notification. If you can try to get in a little earlier, be ready so that way we can um. We get right into the topic and, and and engage with us because sometimes you know we I don't want to keep beating the, the the horse I don't know if it's it, it's you know Frankie you know assured me that he was listening and I appreciate it. I want to make sure that I'm coming across I don't you know I I I, I try my best we try our best to uh, to to 
articulate, you know, but what I'll it is that we want to say. I'll tell you one thing. Frankie brought it, he broke it down so well that I understood what you were saying now. <laughs> 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 he right. broke it down for me. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna we're gonna tune out. We appreciate you once again. Be safe. Be careful out there. Keep your mask on. Keep those hands clean. Watch them kids. Look out for the elderly. And until tomorrow, peace out. Bye, everybody.